action. I'm Nobu Matsuhisa, I'm the chefs. Also, we have the restaurant and the hotels. I grew up in Saitama, Japan. Saitama is like one hour away from the north, from the Tokyo. I'm chefs because chef was my dreams. I was a kid. My room was just next to the kitchens. So I wear kitchen sounds, you know, the boiling water, so making the soup, the smells. I wake up, then immediately, like, uh, wow, the smell good. Then, you know, I like to cook like a uh, grandmother or mom. I think that everyone remember to the mother's food. Why they miss the mother's food? Because mother makes always cooked with the heart. I started training the sushi chefs. I was 18 years old. You know, the first three years for the dishwasher, for the deliveries. Then I started um, training how to slice fish, how to make the sushi, how to make raw. And uh, after seven years almost, so one customer of mine asked me to come to Peru. Sushi chefs, I was a kid, one dreams. I have another dreams. You know, I like to go to another country because I have beautiful pictures. My father in Palau was a native people, but my father the passed away so I was like, a, I was a kid. And uh, when I missed him, so opened the, the photo album, so see these photos, you know, always, oh, I want to be like a father. I was just cooking more like a traditional Japanese way. But I went to the many Peruvian restaurants, a lot of different spice mixed with my food. I create like a more novel style of Peruvian, uh, Japanese Peruvian food. After three years, I left Peru. Still, I was young. I was talking with my wife. I like to go another country the one more time. Somebody wants to open Japanese restaurant, Anchorage, Alaska. But the restaurant is not finished yet, so I have construction, so the cleaning every day. Finally, uh, restaurant's done and the grand opening. And my, after the opening, the 50 days after, and um, my first day off is called the Thanksgiving Day. My business partners call me. And he said to me, oh, let's not start the fire. A friend of mine tried to take the, the cross the restaurant, the driving. Already can see the fire, big, big smoke, the big fire, in the middle of the midnight. You know, I'm thinking about how can I kill myself? You know, because I lost all my dreams and I lost all my money and um, I lost my passion too. I got two kids and they, they playing too. So one second, they, they screaming each other, so because baby, because kids. So then I hear that these kids are screaming. I catch up myself, that's about this. Oh yes, um, I have kids and I have to wake up. I contacted a friend of mine. I explained to what's happening in Alaska. He said to me, come to LA. I came to the United States, Los Angeles, myself. Only the small bag, like a, you know, cash, it's $24 cash in my pocket. This is my last chance city. Start working in a small restaurant. Maybe little by little, so catch up to them. So last 15 years, after the open the Nobu, I went to like almost 70 different countries. We opened the Nobu Park Range in Hyderabad 1997. So today is 25 years anniversary. We invite Princess Diana. We don't open lunch yet, but we opened for her because my business partner's wife invited the princess. I was a little nervous. 
You know, but the princess said, so Chef Nobu, I know you because I read about you from the, your book. But at this moment, I was so proud to myself. And, uh, but right after that, maybe two months after, so she crashed for the car the accident, you know, I was, but beautiful memory, but uh, so sad memory too. When I like to stay myself, I like to be inside like the natures. The, I have the house in Japan called an area called Hakone. My Hakone house, it's the best view. And every morning I wake up, open the curtains, see mountains right there at the front of me. And very peaceful, very quiet. Immediately after I wake up, I'm going to the hot spring. This is the best moment, and sometimes my grandkids come to jump into that with me. Every country has its own cultures, but culture is different, but people is people. I did the big adventures already, you know. I see the top, I see the bottom. So it means I never worry about what's going on, but always I try my best.